Welcome back to the channel guys. It's 12.37 right now, but AI news never stops. Starting from AI chatbots that can actually talk with you for up to 50 minutes. No need for customer service to actually websites that create themselves. And finally, large language models with a context window of up to 100,000 that are already live right now. Let's dive straight into it. First up, we have AI customer service agents. So now, people already hate talking to customer service agents over the phone. It's like 30 minutes of wait time and the service is not something that you would say awesome. So now, we have a solution called Air AI. In Air AI, people can actually talk to AI chatbots. Not only that, they can actually have a conversation up to 50 minutes. Just take a look at this. Um, and it was just time for a change. So it's like, you know, it's it's not super reliable anymore and it's, it's time for an upgrade. I'm moving into the city now and uh, you know, I just think it's time. So as you can see, now you can talk to any AI agent that can solve your problems. But if you can think about this thing just a little bit further, an AI agent who can actually solve your problems can easily be your AI girlfriend or AI therapist as well. So those kinds of applications are not far away in the future. I can see those things actually coming into the market before end of 2023. Moving on. AI websites that create themselves just by your prompt. Now, we have seen these kinds of things before, but implementation by Wix is something that is next level because Wix is a company that has been in the space of creating websites for multiple years and it's a reputed brand. Now, when they are coming out with a feature, it is something that we should take it seriously. Let me show you. Here you can actually arrive and give the prompt of creating a website. Once that prompt is given, it's gonna come up with a lot of questions to make sure the website that you are trying to design is accurate. And then it's gonna give you suggestions of images and then voila, you have the website ready. As you can see, in minutes, you have a first version and a really awesome looking version of your website ready. Although it can be something that is not a 100% implementation of your vision, but this is damn freaking good. Moving on to the biggest news of large language models this week. Anthropic just announced Cloud2. It's a large language model. The special thing about this model is that it has a context window, wait a minute, of 100,000 words. So now you can upload large documents, even research papers that you want to read and actually it will be able to summarize for you. You go to their website and then you describe that I am a science enthusiast. Can you explain the importance of the first paper and a little bit about the second paper? You upload both research papers. Now, it is really important to see that both of the papers are 25 and 75 pages long respectively. Even after being those long, it can actually understand the context of those words and give you the answer. Now, the bad news about this is that it is only available in UK and US. So you cannot play with it unless, of course, you got a VPN, but I think you should give it a shot. Another big news in the world of large language model is that Google just upgraded BARD significantly. Now it can actually understand images and can give deep answers based on the images itself. If you go to their website, unfortunately BARD is not available in Canada, but if you are outside of Canada, you should definitely give it a try. Moving on, Elon Musk just announced that they are moving forward with XAI. It's their answer to open AI and deep minds of the world. Now, let me show you what's on their team. This is really important. Our team is led by Elon Musk. CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. We have previously worked at DeepMind, OpenAI, Google Research, Microsoft Research, Tesla, and University of Toronto. If you are not aware of the world of AI, these are the biggest gangs in terms of world of AI. Basically, they are trying to create a Chicago Bulls of 1996. Collectively, they contributed some of the most widely used methods in the field, in particular, atom optimizer, batch normalization, layer normalization, discovery of adversarial examples. Now, these are some of the things that are being used every day in the world of AI, and the team that is part of XAI actually invented that. This is not just another AI team. This is something serious. We further introduced innovative techniques such as transformer Excel, auto formalization, and memory transformation, batch scaling, and U transfer. We worked and led the development of some of the largest breakthroughs in the field of AlphaStar, AlphaCode, Inception, Mindva, GPT 3.5, and GPT 4. So XAI is something that I'm gonna keep my eyes on and I think you should too. Or maybe just watch the channel, I got you. And finally, I'm gonna quickly show you a bunch of cool tools that I stumbled upon. First up, Google Notes just got an update. Now you can actually query your data and your notes inside Google Notes so that you can get generative AI answers. Imagine you have a big note where you figured out 
how you will be able to solve some math equation. Now, if you want to query those notes, you can. Secondly, Stable Doodle from QuickDraw. Now you can actually turn your doodles into amazing artwork. Let me quickly show you an example. You can go and draw a simple skyline with a moon in the sky, and then bam, you got a really gorgeous picture. Or if you don't want, you don't like that style, you can actually change the style of the image as well. Now you can create a pixelated image or a cartoon image. You can actually go ahead and create different kinds of ice cream or an ice cream icon if you want. And lastly, if you want to be an entrepreneur by selling something online using Shopify, you can actually have your sidekick which will be able to answer all of your questions about Shopify or entrepreneurship as well. If you want to get involved in the world of AI, consider subscribing or subscribe to my newsletter. See you.